Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and everyone. This is a chicken cup. We give you guys a couple updates. Hope everybody been blessed. Stay blessed as always. First time over the Just Blacks TV. Just press the subscribe button for free. Notification bell. All you not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, today is Saturday. Those going out there in the street, whether working, hustling, we just ask the Almighty to protect the item. And in the meantime, please just look out on the item. Well, peeps, you don't know the whole measurement. We're not even going to hold back. We're going to just kick start. Yes, we have three women, a man, and a deadly fight. What started as an argument between a man and a woman at his home in the wee hours of Monday has left the man dead and the police probing. The circumstances surrounding his death after the woman's mother and sister also got involved. There is 23-year-old Frankice Vassal, a farmer of Sayaloa District and Roses Valley District, both in St. Elizabeth. Right, my people, so that I go on from what I go on on that side, young youth just gone home. So, reports from the Balaclava police are that between 2.45 a.m. and 3.20 a.m. on April 1, Vassell and a woman were having an argument outside his home when it escalated into a fight. The woman's sister and mother, who was armed with a machete, joined and reportedly started fighting Vassell. The police said the young farmer received injuries and fell to the ground. The police said the young farmer received injuries and fell to the ground. He was assisted to the hospital where he was later died while undergoing treatment. The police said they are now conducting a death investigation. Right, my people, so three women, Yemen, yeah, Dirt, a man star, Janu star. So the man and him look woman in all the thing and the mother and sister get involved and rise up to my shit and boy them be with him. Mean, no kindness, no good, no show, just meanness, Janu. So construction worker shot and wounded in St. James. Yes, so a man was hospitalized with bullet wounds on Friday morning after he was attacked and shot at a construction site in Montego Bay, St. James. Investigators say about 10 a.m. the victim, a construction worker of a Hanover address, was carrying out work at the location along Queens Drive when he was attacked by two armed men. He was shot multiple times by the hoodlums. He was rushed to hospital by other workers on the site. The police are trying to establish a motive for the attack right my people that are going for what i want so two shot one fatally in Hanover attack right my people so a man is dead and another now nursing bullet wounds after they were attacked and shot on a bee on a beach in Hanover on Thursday morning, the deceased has been identified as 37-year-old Wayne Phillips, otherwise called Scatter, a vendor of Orange Bay Road in Lagood, Hanover. Investigators reported that sometimes after 10 o'clock, Mr. Phillips was at his stall at the Bloody Bay Beach in Green Island conversing with a 38-year-old farmer when they were attacked and shot. Jesse B. Star. And them shout up the police and when the police them arrive, that them man they dead. You know? Moving over peeps away, a man shot and killed in the wee hours this morning up at Havana West Kingston. Right, my people? A that a guan pan, what a guan? Yes, uh, the deceased is only identified as Mario. Right, my people, so look at the screen. Yes, that is Mario you're looking at right now, you know? Jaja, Jaja. But I don't know what I'm going because I didn't keep party last month. You know, 24th last month and trust me, watch ya. No? February. Sorry, two months are back. So gangs have more firepower than police. The regional representative of the UN Office on Jobs and Crime, Sylvie Bertrand, said the consequences have plunged the Caribbean nation into an ongoing political and humanitarian crisis. It's Latest report, UNODC said that from Russian AK-47s and US-made AR-15s to Israel Galil assault rifles, a spike in trafficking of increasingly sophisticated weaponry 
has gripped Haiti since 2021. The reports state that many of these illegal weapons are behind recent news reports of random sniper attacks, mass looting, kidnappings and attack on prisons, which is turn have displaced more than 362,000 Asians who are fleeing the violence. Right, my people, so that I go on, man, man, more gun than the police, they move away. So, peeps, St. Elizabeth woman and her mother charged with murder. A St. Elizabeth woman and her mother have been charged in relation to the killing of her spouse on Monday in Roses Valley. Reports indicate that about 2.45 a.m., Aris Vassell and his spouse, 24-year-old Amanda Stewart, were involved in a domestic dispute which became physical. Miss Stewart's mother, 43-year-old Lisa Patricia Muir, joined the fight. Mr. Vassell was chopped several times with a machete. Ja, ja. The police were alerted and Mr. Vassell was transported to the Mandeville Hospital where he was succumbed to his injuries. Both women were taken into custody and later charged after being questioned. Alright, I saw the first news say three women. That's how I make sure I bring the two of them. It said three women, you know, kill the man. No, the news say two charged. That's how I saw that for just be careful of certain news and things. Not even the article them where you see out there with David say them for your correct. Them not correct. We more correct more than them at whole heap of time. Moving over peeps we a big booty. Performers add life to weeks. Right, my people. So Kerry Ann Hamilton is a fashion designer and her mother, Ophelia Pierce, a security guard. But at night, they are known as famous mother and daughter. The old Arbor natives have been bringing chairs and liveliness to wake setups with their big booty costumes for nearly a year. Well, peeps, first time is it, you know, me and say, what kind of body they may about you hear them say? A big booty costume, so them don't know them buy the costume, set it away to make them body extra big. So when them go out there, ja ja, because we just eat man say I can't do them do body. You know, got them shape of way, but when you look and you see where I go on, you know where I go on. So I them around all weeks and set up around that side, you know, people. Yeah man, them get at them name and them fame, you know. Yeah man, them just get at them and them not move lame. You know what I mean? The majority of you say them, uh, everybody is not the same. But anyway, my people, you don't know how to do it. You know? I'm you know? just want you guys just stay safe, you know. And just don't forget to just put the Almighty first in you know? everything what you do. You know, make nobody come tell you about no God, no day, and no bravery. Prayer works. And the more you pray, the better your life will be. And the less company you keep, the better you will be free. Okay, so blessings to all my people. I am up, out, without a doubt. Big up the east, west, north, and the south, up top, a lot of blessing. And ain't no what, no stressing. Yeah, I'm just sharing the comments in the section below, because now no ugly like John Crew, up top. And them for no side, Ja Ahmed, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them say prayer works. When the healings are trying for you. While see you die, you hurt. The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?